Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville and we are going to be expanding out our downtown and it's kind of crazy this downtown is becoming way more involved than I originally thought but today's project is actually going to be pretty fun because we're going to be incorporating the Financial Districts DLC as well as the Skyscrapers Content Creator Pack. Alright so our goal for today is to work on this island, this island, this island in this island i really want to get a big park in here i feel like this would be a really good location maybe it's like a reclamation project because of this large interchange the city's decided to make like a green space underneath it instead of just allowing zoning in there and, and i really feel like this is a good opportunity for the city to kind of give back and create a really nice area in here and so let's go ahead and jump right in so the first thing we need to do is actually create access off of this interchange and i was kind of playing around with this and i think our best option is going to be to just create another double flyover going this way so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this road and I'm going to have it come up over here and I'm going to have it wrap around and then go underneath and then end up over here. And then I'm just going to create some connections off of these existing connections so that we can connect up a connection over here. And so this is going to be a full service interchange despite not having a road going across. So it's not going to be full service in that respect. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because we have these two roads that are flanking the sides. And I feel like because this is our downtown, it's really going to allow a lot of throughput through here, which is really important for us. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it done and then we'll go ahead and talk about it once I am finished. Okay, and so just a few minutes later, I have finished. And so I did exactly as I said, I ended up doing an on-ramp kind of wrapping around. And the reason we did this is because we just got kind of like a spaghetti mess going on in the middle. It was already kind of tough getting everything to fit. Like we definitely have uh, some clearances that are a little close. Like this one right here is just... A little tight. I mean, it's um, not the end of the world. I, I feel like it's enough for like semis and stuff to get by. I've, I've been through bridges that are this tight, but man, you can see that it is definitely close. Um, but now we have access over here. And so I do want to zoom out and I want to connect up to this road as well. I feel like it's just going to really provide some awesome access to our industrial area, but then also help to connect it up to the freeway intersect interchange down here, which is really going to help out a lot. So we're going to grab this road and we will do this six lane with decorative grass just because we can. And so we are actually going to upgrade this all the way down and we can actually go to unmodded so that we uh, can get this on the ground. And I'm going to go all the way down and then we are going to lose a little bit of generic zoning there. It's not the end of the world. We've not really had a huge demand for it at the moment anyways. And so now we will go up and we need to go up pretty high with this. We may even just uh, play around with it a little bit and come back and, uh, and fix that. So if we go like right here, now I want to go down and I actually want to curve this. We're going to grab this and I want to curve this up to where we have enough space on the opposite side to do just a little bit of zoning. But then I really want to follow this. So we'll grab this and then what we're going to do is probably follow it just one more and then we will curve this up. Let's actually go from the other side. So we're going to grab this. All right. And so I finally got it and we can now curve this down and then let's go ahead and upgrade some of it to a ground piece since we don't need it all to be bridge piece. And that's probably good right there. So what we're now going to do is come in here and I'm going to use the move it mod to shift this over the water. And it kind of goes below the water. You can kind of see it's just an issue that you got to deal with when, when building so close to key walls. And so there we go. We're definitely not going to be able to get some ferries through here, but I really don't think it's the end of the world for this little section. And so I do want to grab this road and we really want this road to kind of follow along. That actually looks pretty good. And then we do need to come back through here and upgrade this middle piece to a bridge piece. Go like that. Let's go ahead and go like that. So I do want to kind of fix this a little bit. It's a really big bridge piece and I don't think it's necessary. So we'll grab that and let's go ahead and control each right there. And so now we have a little bit of access, which is fantastic. And we do have this kind of weird turn here instead of it just kind of following through and going across, which might look a little bit better, but this is where we're going to end up putting our stock exchange. And so I really wanted to get a cool look in here. And so now what we will do is go ahead and work on some road layouts here. So we are going to go into a two unit road and let's go ahead and do this one with bicycle lanes. So we are going to grab this. Let's go to unmodded and let's turn off snapping. We're going to go up this way and I really want to keep the four squares of zoning off of that side. And then once we get about like right, let's actually come on this side. So we will go like right about here and let's go across and let's go ahead and connect that up. And then let's make sure that this is okay. So I'm going to turn on snapping, bring this forward, go ahead and bring this in the middle, go ahead and control H right here again, bring it up. 
And then let's go ahead and hit that page up button so we can get it above those key walls, which is super important. Let's go ahead and bring these up just a smidge as well. And so now we have a little bit of access coming through here, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and bring this down. And then I do want it to curve into that road so that we can get a 90 degree connection. I feel like that's important. And so let's go ahead and follow that along now. We're gonna grab this, we're gonna go across. And so what I'm thinking is we're gonna go into a one unit road. I really wanna get some skyscrapers in here, but also some tram access. So we are going to turn off snapping and I'm going to follow our little freeway connection here so that we can maybe get some trees in there, make it look a little more natural. Like maybe they're trying to utilize all the space they can. We will go into a pedestrian road and we are gonna utilize the pedestrian tram road. We'll go like this. We'll go to freeform and we're going to turn off snapping and we're going to draw this in literally in this little piece right here. And then what we can do is actually go back to that other road and upgrade it to a tram road. Let's actually go to a four lane tram road. So we'll go to two units, three plus. Let's go to a four lane, two unit tram road. And we're going to upgrade this all the way down to right about there. We're going to leave that like that for now because I'm not exactly sure where we're going to branch off with this. So I do want this to loop around right here. So we're gonna go like this, and then we are going to have it come up right here, and we're gonna have it turn. And so the reason I did that is because this is gonna provide a little bit of an opportunity for us to do like a, a cool tram station in here. I feel like this is gonna be a nice little location. Maybe even do a small plaza in the middle, make it look really cool. So I do want to go back in here, and we're gonna create just a couple little rows. And so let's go into our unique, unique buildings, and let's look at our skyscraper one. So if we go all the way down to the end to this content creator packs, we have quite a few. And so this is definitely going to be interesting to see like what we can fit in here because there's, there's a lot of buildings. It's really a ton. Maybe if we grab a pair of buildings, like we'll grab this Marshalltown tower from South Africa. So we'll grab that. Let's go ahead and place the other one across the street right there. And this could be like maybe a whole compound. Maybe this is like a corporate headquarters or something like that. And so they actually have this whole square and we'll probably do a plaza right there. I feel like that could be good. So now let's go ahead and bring our tram road across. So we will go into our two unit three lane plus, upgrade this down. And so I do want to have a little bit of tram access in here as well. But let's go ahead and place down some of our buildings and see what we're looking at. So if we bring our bring a road, let's go into a two unit road, grab this and then come out here Maybe go like right there, turn on snapping so that we can get a nice little curve out of it out of here. So if I grab that and connect it up right there, and then let's come down here, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a connection in there. So if we now go into our pedestrian road, we can do something similar to what we did before. So if we grab this, have it come down like right there, and then go ahead and turn back on snapping, and have it turn, we can create a little bit of a natural barrier with this. Let's go into our skyscraper buildings now. And so it looks like these three are all part of the same thing. So if we grab that, let's go ahead and do this one off that same road. And then let's see if we can place this one. So it looks like it's gonna be tied off that backside. So maybe we can go right there. So I mean, those look pretty cool. And they actually got some patios. Those are like big condos. I like that. So let's move this one back just a smidge. So if we go like that and then turn it. So they're all three different sizes. So if we we'll go like this, and then let's go ahead and grab this, go like that. And then let's go ahead and grab this and go like this. I think that looks really cool. That looks fantastic. And so we will go ahead and go like that. And I want to create some spaces in here, make it look good, you know? All right, so what I'm thinking is we will actually come in here and look at one of the buildings we got with the Heart of Korea content creator pack. So I'd really like to get this mall in here. I think that this would just be an awesome location. So if we actually get rid of this, let's actually do a small road in, make like an entrance. I think that that could be good. So we'll go into a one unit road. We will go across, we'll go like that. Fantastic. And we will connect this up now, go like that. And then let's go ahead and have that road kind of wrap around just that one unit. Just because you would need to have some sort of access in here. So let's go ahead and go like this. And then we will come down. And then what we can do with our pedestrian road is actually have it kind of flank this. So if we turn off snapping, have it go right there, come right there, and then come all the way down, go like that. And it looks like I need to turn back on snapping. Let's go ahead and place down some parking as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up a parking garage. And we don't need to get like super crazy with a parking garage, but we definitely need to get one in here. Like without a parking garage, this would 
this would have some problems. All right, so I think for this um, pedestrian road, we're actually gonna nix that because I really wanna get a parking space in here too. I feel like this would just be really important. And so now we got a little bit of parking going around and then we have a tram line going in front, which is fantastic. And then we have some space in here to do some grounds, make it, make it into a nice little area. And I think we're definitely gonna do some uh, commercial in here. I'm not exactly sure yet, maybe some organic local produce or something along those lines. And so let's um, come in here now and we have quite a bit of space. So we could definitely do one of these buildings like right there. And I'm tempted to get some like density in here, similar to what we did on the other side, but I really wanna get some varying heights. I don't want them all to be super tall buildings. So we're gonna come through here and do some of the financial districts DLC stuff and then probably some uh, eco um, high rises and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and turn this into a bridge. And so we can now come over here and this is really where we have a, a little more space to kind of play around with this. We were definitely a little bit tight on that other side. I'm glad that we got that mall in there though. I really wanted to get like some sort of unique building. So let's come in here and we are going to leave two unit gap in the middle, come all the way down and we'll probably leave a space up there. And then I do want this pedestrian road to do what we did before. So we'll grab this down. Let's go ahead and create, maybe we'll do turn off snapping. Come up like this. We will come all the way down. And what I'm gonna do is just have it follow this road down. And voila, there we go. And so now we have a nice little tram frontage road in there and also walking spaces, which I think is fantastic. Really like the look of this. I have I like doing these frontage roads. I've done this in quite a few of my builds. And I was like, you know, why don't I do it with pedestrian roads? I really feel like we've been kind of missing out with this. So we will go like this. And so now let's come in here and let's see what else we can get. So we got a couple really big ones. We got this uh, National Trade Center, which would be great to have. So let's go ahead and place this like right there. And let's check that building out. So that building has some awesome grounds. That looks really fantastic. I think we'll actually do some paths on this side. And then let's do a small one unit road in here. This will be like an alley. And then let's go ahead and bring this up. Let's turn on that snapping. And so now we have a little bit of an alley going on, which I think is cool. Provides a little bit of access and it provides some separation in here as well. So I do want to get my favorite building. So we're going to come in here. Let's go ahead and place this on the corner. And then we will, let's go ahead and do this one right next to it. Really like that building too. Those are some awesome looking buildings. It actually looks like that one's just a little bit too big. So let's come back in here, go back to the drawing board and see what else we can get. So it's a lot of these buildings are pairs, um, which again, I like, I think it's awesome, but I don't think it's necessarily uh, realistic to always have pairs for buildings. Pairs do happen, you definitely see them, but I do wanna get a couple of these too. So we'll grab this, let's go ahead and go in the middle. I think having them in the middle would be fun. So if we go like that, all right, so now let's go back and see what else we have. So we have a couple more of these buildings that um, are longer. I think that those would look fun. Let's also see. So it looks like we got these ones. Oh, this one looks cool. I actually, I like this one as well. So we will grab this. Let's go ahead and go right on the corner of that alley. Oh yeah, that one's cool. I don't know if I placed this one before. I like that building. They're right next to each other. And so it looks like we need to get at least one building off of this road. Ooh, so we got a couple smaller ones. This could be good. Oh, that one actually looks really cool. So I just smushed it in and it made it into like a bigger building there. Um, instead of one building, it's uh, it was two buildings. Instead of two buildings, it's now one building. So I actually really like that. I didn't think about doing that. So let's come in here and we'll do this one right there. And I think that looks good. We're already getting pretty dense over here. I don't want to get too crazy because again, I want to get some smaller buildings in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do some water pipes real quick since we are having some major issues with that. Okay, so we have buildings coming in. I have water pipes down. And what I want to do now is just kind of fill in some of these spaces. So what I'm going to do is go into find it and I am just going to go through growables as well as some of my Rico buildings and try to find some buildings to fill in some of these spaces real quick. All right, so what I wanna do now is actually go through here and do just a little bit of zoning, um, but we actually do need to do a district first. I'm kind of getting a little bit ahead of, ahead of myself. So we're gonna come in here and we're going to zone all this in and I wanna do some wall-to-wall -wall commercial and also wall-to-wall -wall office space in here because I really feel like it's going to help break this up a little bit. Like with the super tall buildings, we're gonna have some smaller ones in here. It's really gonna help us to have a, a cool look in here. And so we really don't have a ton of demand for industrial at this moment. And so what I'm gonna do is only do a little bit. And then I think we're gonna end up doing some residential. And because the wall-to-wall -to -wall residential really isn't too tall, I'm now thinking that maybe the eco residential will probably be better. So if we go back into here and just hit this eco, 
and then go into wall-to-wall -wall commercial and we'll do wall-to-wall -wall residential as well and because we're going to do that financial district over here we actually want to turn this into a separate district so that we can do the financial office buildings and so let's come back in here and i think we're going to end up doing residential for this whole backside. i feel like this would be good right up against the water we could even do maybe some smaller buildings and do a path in there maybe a bike path or something i think that that could be good so we'll do three buys. We'll still get some taller buildings, but it'll help create a little bit of like a step pattern in there. And so now in here, let's do just a little bit of commercial. Go like that. Let's come in here. I'm thinking maybe off of this corner as well. Go like that. We'll come in here. I kind of want to get that zoning if we could. So let's see if it's going to allow us. Yeah, it will. So let's go like that. And then off this section, we'll probably leave a lot of this free. We do want to get some grounds in here as well, just to capture a cool look in here. Um, let's go ahead and do just some commercial in here because this is a big mall that would be very fitting. And then let's go ahead and do some small commercial in here as well. And we do need to be careful. We actually, um, let's actually get rid of that and let's do some residential because you want to keep your demand at about 50%. You don't want to overdo commercial. You could definitely run into some problems pretty quickly if you do. And so now that we got that, it's going to allow us to be able to unpause. And I think we could even do some more residential off this front side as well. So I think I'm going to go like this. And then what I'm going to do is actually get rid of just the two squares on the backside again. So we can get like a bike path or something in there. Something fun off that waterfront just to make it look really nice. I do now want to work on, it's kind of funny, I completely got ahead of myself. I want to get a metro stop in here. So now we're going to go into transport. What I'm going to do is go over to this metro and I think we're just going to use this elevated metro station and I want to get one I'm thinking like right here since it's going to be across the street from that tram stop and then we'll have it curve up here and we're actually going to put it in here as well and then we're going to have it curve up over here and then actually meet up with this road and then I think what we're going to end up doing is getting rid of this stop so we're going to go ahead and pause and what I'm going to do is get rid of this and then we are going to bring this back just a little bit I'm going to go back into transport I'm going to go into content creator packs and I'm going to use this one that we got with the bridges and piers and it does look like we need to build off a road for it first this one requires a road to be in the middle so we'll go ahead and place this like right there and of course uh, collision was on I don't know why it didn't get rid of that and then let's go back in here and place down this station now yeah that looks about level right there and then that way we can go back into our metro tracks and we are going to connect this up we'll go like that we'll go ahead and connect this up and then let's go ahead and upgrade that to a bridge piece since we do not need those trusses and then let's come in here and so what i'm going to do is just have this kind of wrap around follow this canal and then cut here and connect up to these two stations all right, so now that we did that, I'm kind of looking at this building and I'm wondering if maybe that's just not the greatest location for this building. I think having that metro track off the backside would really inhibit the land value for this. And so we're going to go ahead and move that. And so now we can come in here. Let's go ahead and hit play. And we are going to let this tram line figure itself out. It um, should only take a second or two. As long as you have your tracks connected properly, then the lines will reconfigure those themselves, even if you do end up putting in a new station. Um, the, the tracks are still complete they can finish their lines and so they're going to end up being able to come back through you can kind of see this one's a little messed up metro comes up here though it will figure out that it can continue on and then connect up yes yeah, there you go and so now let's come in here so we should have two stops i'm thinking if we come in on this inside we can come all the way down here connect that up connect that up and then come back and we could probably even do one more stop in there so if we go like that so now we have another another room for another, like one more line in there. And that's why I really like this station. It has four stations. And one of the cool things too, you can really get to see like a lot of people using this uh, station whenever it gets really busy. We do have one of these already in Canalville. You can kind of see instead of going above ground, what I decided to go is actually go below ground here or go below the, the freeway. And so I do want to level this out. I'm gonna go into the slope mod, the slope tool within the network multi-tool, and we'll go ahead and hit enter. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side just to get a nice even grade. So that was already 4.8%. 4, 4 That's still pretty steep, but for the metro, I think that they would be able to figure it out. All right, so now what we wanna do, uh, let's go ahead and uh, solve this not connected to pedestrian area problem. So we are going to come in here, connect all these up, go like this, and I think we're gonna end up doing a bigger service area on this as well. I'm looking at this space right here. I was thinking it'd be a really good location to get like a trash service and then also um, fulfill a lot of the pedestrian area needs. But we could also connect this up over here too. I think now that we have this Metro line, what we're gonna do is turn this into a little bit of a green space. Kind of wish that turn was a little bit better, but I think that looks good. Um, let's uh, go ahead and connect this up. So if we, 
turn on snapping, come down just a smidge, and then let's go ahead and go like this. And then that way what we can do is just grab this and connect it up. And for some reason that didn't connect up properly. Yeah, we'll go like this, perfect. And then let's go ahead and grab this other road as well. We want this to continue following this. Let's turn on snapping, turn off snapping, and then let's go ahead and have it curve up. So we're gonna have it go up and then come this way. We're gonna follow the Metro track just because I, I think it's gonna help, help us capture a nice little look in there. And so now we have a nice clean connection. I wanna make sure that this looks good. So it does, it's definitely a little steep on this side. So what I'm gonna do is grab that slope tool and we're just going to level this out a bit, make it look a little bit better. Still looks like that's a still pretty steep. So 6% grade, that's not too bad. And then let's go ahead and check out this one as well. So 12.6, uh, maybe we could do this one. Let's see if it gets too close to that metro line. You know, that's not bad. Um, it's definitely kind of close, but it's definitely, it's a better grade. And so we could still squeeze some some fairies back there, which would be good. What I want to do now is just kind of fill in some of these spaces. And so what I'm going to do is actually go into find it and I'm going to go into growables as well as some of my Rico buildings and just find some taller buildings, maybe some residentials that'll kind of fill in some of these spaces, make them look a little bit better. All right, so I ended up placing down quite a few buildings. I did concentrate on one creator in particular by the name of Alex. I absolutely love his buildings. They are fantastic. And he actually does have a Patreon as well where you can go on and support and get some uh, early access to buildings and stuff. But um, his details are just astronomical. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite content creators. He's definitely one of my favorite content creators for assets for this game. I've used uh, quite a bit of his buildings in the past, like all these colorful ones over here. Over here are his... Um, but I ended up placing these two down here, which are his. I did a small commercial building with one of our square buildings over here. I ended up placing a couple of these because I wanted to do kind of like a park where, you know, multiple buildings, kind of like how we did these back here. And so now what we're going to do is focus on our financial district. And so I did want to do something pretty different for this. I wanted to do something that was going to incorporate um, some sort of geometry or symmetry in here. I thought it was just going to be a really nice touch. And so what we're going to do, I want to use this curve. So we're gonna come off here. We're gonna go out just probably about like right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing up here. We wanna be just short of that bridge though. So we'll go like right there. We're gonna go to that free form tool. And what I'm gonna do is actually wrap this around and it does look like we're a little bit too far in that middle. So what I'm gonna do is probably make a couple more connections. So we'll go like that and then we'll come up here and go like this. And then we will go ahead and wrap this around. We'll go like that, connect this up. And perfect. And then for the other side, what I want to do, and it does look like maybe we kind of shorten that a little bit. I may fix that in a second. So for this side, what we want to do is kind of line it up. I mean, it's kind of hard because of the curve. So what we'll do is probably go out like right here and then we will go like right there and then come down. We're a little bit off in terms of the island, but I think it's going to be okay. Would have been better if this road was over here. We could probably even still do that. So if I were to bring this out, and then get rid of this middle road and then have the road draw across it probably look a little bit better because we're definitely we want it to look even and natural we don't want it to kind of look like it doesn't fit with the surrounding islands it's really one of the things you can pay attention to to make your cities look a lot better let me see how it matches the island just a little bit better it's still a little off and so now what we'll do is we'll just grab that get rid of it and then we will connect this up and so now what i'm thinking is we are going to use our new stock exchange over here. I know it's not a lot of people's favorite building, but it is a fun building to have. Um, I mean, it's definitely not at the top of my list for DLCs that I would recommend, but it's still something that that is nice to have. Again, I've said it in the past, I really like the 
the district style for it. I think the district style is fantastic. So the idea is I want to do a park in the middle and a park right here. And then we're going to have a couple little buildings, a couple roads kind of branch off, connect up over here and probably connect up over here as well. And then we'll do some financial buildings. And so I'm going to go ahead and throw in the, the road layout real fast. All right, and so I think that's going to be pretty good for now. We, I'm leaving room in the middle for us to maybe add in roads or parks or something like that. I don't, I don't want to get too crazy. And so now we will go and find our new buildings. We're going to go into growable. Let's go ahead and unclick that and find this financial districts. And we do want vanilla to be checked since it is part of the vanilla game. It's not a, an asset that you download on Steam. And so I'm going to do probably... I want to find a good theme over here because I want it to all be kind of one. So I actually think that one blends in really well and it uh, has like a turn over here. So if we go like this, looks like maybe we even have another turn. Yeah, we want it to stay the same. So if we have a corner piece like the one that we already did, I'm pretty sure there's another corner piece. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and use this one. It looks like this is probably going to be our best corner piece. There is a corner piece over here. Maybe we'll actually do that and then we will grab our road and we're gonna have it wrap around. So we'll grab it from like right here and we're gonna have to turn off snapping for this because it wants to snap to that. Let's go ahead and move that up. Let's actually control S and turn off regular snapping as well. So we will come up over here and then let's go ahead and bring it back. Let's turn on regular snapping so that we can snap into that node, connect up that road. Yeah, there we go. So now we have our first little block, which I actually really like that. I think that looks fantastic. And we could even come in here and maybe put in a bigger building or something as well. Um, but I don't think we're going to do it just yet. So I do want to come over here. We're going to put in a bigger one right there. We're going to go ahead and move this over. Let's go ahead and turn this off so that we can get it right where we want it to be. And then let's go ahead and bring this back here. And it looks like this piece is going to be kind of in a, in a troubled spot. So let's go ahead and add in a small road right here and then connect it up right there. Just going to make it look a little bit better we can kind of even that out a bit so now what i'm going to do is just go ahead and fill in the rest of these with buildings then we can come back and kind of look at it all right so this is what i came up for this area i decided to use a mix of buildings for a lot of these i really wanted to go for something that was going to look good but also kind of match with uh, the buildings next to it i did kind of split them up with some pathways in here just to create some small spaces and over here i decided to do a courtyard in the middle i think we're going to end up doing like maybe a plaza and then I did this single facade going all the way around with some taller buildings kind of in the back. And so now what I want to do, I decided to create a small district over here and I used the organic and local produce for this section. So what I'm thinking is we'll come in here and we're just going to do some of the smaller ones. I really don't want to get any crazy big buildings in here. So we'll probably just do the single square going all the way down. And then what I'm thinking for this middle section is we will probably do just a couple more little shops in here. But I really want to create like a big walking area. And then we're going to do a plaza in here, probably with some hedges create some nice walking areas, use some decals and stuff and really turn it into something special. And so now I want to move on to this section before we really start getting into he any heavy detailing, because what I want to do here is actually create a big park. And so we can imagine that maybe this area was designated for a green space or something because of the big freeway interchange. They decided to kind of give back to the community and do something fun. So what I want to do, you can kind of see I'm, I'm doing these curves in here. I really want to create a pattern and then I want to use some gazebos and some other smaller park assets probably even a building if we can fit it in here we do have road access but the road access is very finicky in here because of uh, how tight of a space it was that's why i was kind of like going back and forth like what to do with this space um initially i was like thinking we were gonna you know put some buildings in here or something and it just didn't look that that good and so I decided that um, doing a park in here was just gonna be a little bit nicer. And so I think that's a pretty nice little pattern. Now what we will do, we, I'm thinking if we could fit even just like some sort of museum in here, I think it would just be awesome. And then we could even do a like a pedestrian road in here. Maybe if we go in here, let's go into our, uh, our unique buildings and just kind of surf through here and see if we have, thinking like maybe the Museum of Modern Art or something like that, some building that's just gonna look really good in this space. So we have the Grand Library, that could actually look pretty good in there. It would be kind of tight. Museum of Modern Art would look a little bit better. The problem is that roof. So I think, you know, we're gonna go back and we are gonna choose that uh, Grand Library. And so we are going to Anarchy and we'll go ahead and place this down. So let's go ahead and get rid of this these pathways in the middle and I'm gonna move the building just a, a smidge out of the way so that we can get the path underneath it. Let's go ahead and just put this building right on the edge here. And then what we'll do is get rid of this and you know what, I'm 
preemptively drew in those paths when we're going to have to come back through. We'll go like right there and then let's go into our roads and grab a pedestrian road. We will grab the one with the grass on either side and let's go ahead and draw this across. Let's go all the way down and let's go ahead and go to this side as well. Yeah. And then that way, what we can do, I'm going to go ahead and draw this pedestrian road going all the way down, connecting up with this road. I'm going to go ahead and connect it up right here as well. But then I'm going to have to delete these and redraw them in so that we can still get that pattern in there, but they're going to be on the inside of the, of the pedestrian roads. Okay, so I drew it in, did the ped roads, got our pedestrian paths back in there. And so now we have access to our library. Let's go ahead and make sure that our pedestrian designated area covers this. Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and extend it out just a bit. Let's go like right here. Um, while we're at it, let's actually just engulf all these islands in here because I think we're going to end up having to utilize um, this space for an industrial area. So I'm thinking uh, maybe trash pickup and then we will migrate some of our pedestrian area service points over here. So I think for this middle section, we'll probably just leave it empty. Maybe we'll do some pathways in here. We could even mimic the, the freeway interchange a bit just to make it look good. Or we could just have it extend across. So we could have this go like right over here. It probably would be good to connect this up as well. I was originally hoping we were going to be able to have the road come across here, but... It just doesn't fit that well with this whole uh, connection right here. Especially, I mean, this this entire thing just doesn't work out that well. We, we might even just move this back. So if we grab this, uh, use the picker mod, grab our road, and then go back to unmodded. And then let's go ahead and just come across this way. This is just going to make a lot more sense for us rather than trying to squeeze it into that space. And then we will go ahead and hit page up on this. It's just raised above that key wall. And again, it would have been really nice to get access down here because we do have this road right here. Because of some of our uh, interchange bridges, though, we really just don't have great access coming through here, even for that road as it was coming across. And so I think this is probably going to be our best bet. And this will just be access to our park. It is kind of a cul-de-sac, cul so this would have uh, an inherent fire risk. Um, but there'd probably be contingencies in place. Like we do have two access points over here. So this would probably have a... A requirement to be like a four lane just so that if there were any sort of accident it wouldn't block the entire road so if we come in here what we're going to do is just upgrade this across and so now if there is any sort of accident in the road and the chance of it blocking the entire road isn't as large as it being a two lane road so this would actually increase the, the overall safety of this area let's go ahead and uh, just connect this up again this is probably just going to provide pedestrian access so i think what we're going to do let's go ahead and go over here let's um go up and then let's come across and then let's go down and connect this up. Let's see if that gives us enough room underneath that because I know it's really tight. It is extremely tight and we're so tight over here. I'm thinking maybe um, a bridge going under or a bridge going over or a tunnel. So the bridge is uh, it's a little low. I mean, I think that that would probably be um, unsafe. So what we'll do is raise this up. We'll probably go just like right there. And then let's go ahead and bring this up as well. We'll go ahead and control H on this point just so that we can get it up. And that way it's just a little bit safer over there. Um, we could raise this one up as well. I don't know if it's necessary, but maybe we'll do that. And then let's just go ahead and clean this up, make it a little bit better. We'll probably do a back and forth. It's now we've created access. It's a little more realistic with that. I don't necessarily like the bridge over here, but it is something that we are gonna need. So now let's go ahead and come across here. So I'd really like to get access this way, but it's, it looks like it's really tight. So maybe if we grab this and then what we'll do is let's come up, come across, go like this. And then that way what we can do is just come back this way. This is gonna really help to encourage walkability over here. That's really what we want people to do. We want as many people to walk as possible. I'd really like to get some sort of access over here too. So we have a pathway right there. Let's go ahead. I know we have a pathway right there, so we're removing this connection isn't the end of the world. So I'm thinking what we're going to do, let's actually use a bigger, a nicer kind of pedestrian road. I think if we go over here. Yeah, so we'll use this one. I, I really like this bridge. So we'll come across now. Let's go up and then let's go across, connect it up right there. And let's go ahead and go on this side as well, just to get a little bit of uniformity with that. So we'll grab this, bring it forward, go like this, bring this forward as well. And then let's go ahead and check on this just to make sure that, you know, I mean, that would be really hard for people to get up, especially since there's no stairs in this game. So what I'm thinking is maybe if we get rid of some of our decorations in here, which does kind of suck. We, you know, I put a lot of time into these and then we still have room for fairies to come through, which is very important. But now we have provided access to our park over here, which is fantastic. And so now it's coming here and let's go to our city park. And I want to do a couple of these. So let's go ahead and do one on the corner here. Let's go ahead and do one on the corner here as well. And then I think we're going to do 
some gazebos as well. I think we're going to utilize one color. I think that could be good. So we'll, we'll go ahead and use gazebos in between all of these. We'll go like that. Because it's not a park, we actually can't just provide like place parks in here. Because it's a pedestrian area, we don't have the ability to turn this into a park. So it is a, a limitation that we're just going to have to deal with. So we're going to go into parks and plazas again. We're going to go back to this pedestrian area plazas. I want to put a couple of these in here. These are just really nice looking plazas. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like that. So let's um move this over. Grab that. Let's move this over. Go like that. And then I'm thinking if we can be really nice if we could get some stuff in here. Maybe we could just do like a small little walking path. Maybe we'll do a, a dirt path going through here. So we'll grab this, have it just kind of come cut across. I think it's going to mess up our curve if we do that. So I'm actually going to turn off snapping. What we want is it to be just near it. So the paths still connect, but it's not going to mess up our curve. You know, and I think that looks pretty good. And then I can actually go into find it and search up playground. Let's get out of growables, go to all. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a small playground in here. And you know, nothing too crazy. It looks good. I did a little fence around it with some uh, playground equipment in there. And so now what I'm thinking, I'm probably going to use these generic pine trees. And I want to line these little areas, create some small spaces in there. Probably even use a, a couple pergolas. Really clean it up real quick, just make it look good. All right, so I decided not to go too crazy. I just used those generic pine trees, a little bit of foliage. I did pergolas in here with some benches to kind of accentuate these curves. I uh, did pergolas over here as well, just to give people some area to some areas to like sit, maybe look out over the water, um, read or something like that. I think it's a really good use of the space. Um, a lot of times whenever you're thinking about like uh, areas around these big interchanges, it's kind of tough to figure out what should go there. A lot of times um, industry is your best option since industry doesn't tend to care about the, the noise as much. Um, this looks like this This is not a great slope we got going on here. But while I was doing that, I was kind of looking over at this space and with this uh, organic and local produce over here, I was like, man, you know, I don't, I don't know if a park in here would look the best. I think if we were to put some high density residential in here, it would be a really great fit. So if we go ahead and just zone all that in, big reason is because our residential demand is just so large right now, but then it's going to help us create a nice separation between this plaza in the middle, and then we'll be able to do some pathways around the outside. And so while we're letting that grow in, I do want to get a ferry stop over here. And what I was thinking is if we could fit one like right in here. So if we grab that, let's go ahead and use the move it mod and we're going to move this in just a smidge. Let's go ahead and do control H right there just to get at that same level. And as long as we got that pier out over the water, it really doesn't matter if this is uh, just a little further in. It definitely would be better if it wasn't, but it's not the end of the world. And so now this is going to be a little bit of a cul-de-sac. We're kind of tight on space, but I want to bring this across. So let's go ahead and turn on snapping with control S. We're going to bring this like this and we're just going to go ahead and connect it up to that pedestrian road. And so we do have a bit of an issue with this. You can kind of see it's all the way on the ground. And so what we need to do is raise this up just enough to allow for this road to go under. So if we go ahead and go like that, it's going to create a little bit of a slope on this side. But what we can do is just increase this a bit and then we're going to increase this a bit. This kind of makes it more level with that pedestrian road anyways, which is probably for the best. But then let's go ahead and smoothen this out. We're just going to page up on this just a bit. And we want to be mindful of that bridge over there. We, we don't want to get it too close to that. We would still want trucks to have access over here. And we don't want this slope to be too crazy. But now that it provides access over here, we do still need to be mindful. This is a pedestrian road. So we could either upgrade that to a regular road or keep that pedestrian road. I, th I think it would be in our best interest to upgrade that. So I do want to get a pathway, some path access over here. So we're going to grab this and let's go ahead and bring this down and we'll probably just connect it up like right there. But then I want to get some path access going to the other side. So let's go ahead and bring this up. We're going to go up. Well, let's go up to nine and then let's go ahead and bring it across. And so let's go ahead and connect up our road to our key over here just so that we can provide a little bit of access. Now I want it to be, I want these lines to be parallel with the road so that we can kind of create a pattern in there. And so I actually really like this. So I think for over here, we'll probably put in another pedestrian area plaza if we can fit one. So if we do like this statue park, yeah, if we go like that and then let's go ahead and move it over just a bit. And so I think this looks good. I actually really like this build. We did a ton on this build. We still left a little bit of room. Maybe we could squeeze in our uh, waste processing complex over here. I think that would be smart this episode. So we'll go ahead and grab this and then let's do a small one unit road. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So let's actually grab our picker mod and have this road go across. So go to unmodded, turn on snapping so we can make, keep it at a 90. And let's go across and then we can have this kind of 
continue straight. That way we can come back to this road and then let's just go ahead and curve it in. And so now we have a little bit of access over here. Let's get back to our one unit road and then we will go ahead and bring this out. And then I think for this side, we'll probably end up leaving the other side empty as I want to use some of our service buildings in here. So if we go to this area, and go to pedestrian areas. Let's use, I'm thinking this bigger one, large cargo service point. So if we grab two of these and put them like right next to each other, it just makes it, you know, I really like these buildings, but it they provide a great service for our area. They, they receive all the cargo for our pedestrian area. And so we do have a lot of pedestrian buildings in this area. And so high cargo traffic. Yeah, so we were already having a lot of cargo issues. And so now that this is in the area, it's gonna really help to provide um, some relief for those buildings. So we can come back here. We do need to get some trash service as well. So it'd be good for us to maybe get like this one over here. And then let's go ahead and do a couple recycle centers as well. Um, just because I really like to use these buildings. Maybe we'll put the recycle center right there. And then let's do one of our waste transfer facilities over here. So if we go like that, let's go ahead and check that out. So we're a little too close to that side. I wonder if we can switch sides for these. So if, so if we go like right there, let's actually move the road just to make it a little more uh, level there. These buildings are kind of sideways. It's not the end of the world, but just, you know, the little things. If we go like that and then we can grab our recycle center and put it back over here. Yeah, that's perfect. We could even put two of these if we wanted to. Um, it wouldn't be the end of the world. These definitely do provide a lot of relief for your trash service and trash can be become a really big problem in your cities pretty quick if you don't pay attention to it. So let's go ahead and go like that. And then what we'll do is we will bring these down, connect up water, and then we'll probably just do some trees on the other side. Um, just kind of clean it up a little bit, fill in these small spaces. We could have a road go across. It's just really limited. You know, we could even do just some generic industry. That could actually be good. So if we go like this, bring it across and then come back. That way what we can do is have some small generic industry in here. Just go like that. And it's gonna provide just a little bit of goods for the area, which could be good. We could even do some warehouses in there as well. We don't have a harbor super close by though. I think our closest harbor is this way, which we built that bridge so that it does provide access over here. But otherwise we don't have any other goods until we do our uh, our airport over here. So I, I don't even know if that's gonna go in. We may even remove that. And so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time-lapse. I'm gonna get a little crazy on some of these areas. I wanna do kind of fill in some of these spaces, make it look more cohesive, more realistic, but then also do some, uh, probably some pools for these areas and some trees and some walking paths and stuff. And then in here, I'm gonna do some uh, some of the hedges and create a whole little walking space in front of this building. I'm not sure if we're gonna upgrade this building. I kind of like it as level one. I, it's not very hard to upgrade it to the top top level. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think if we should upgrade it or not. Um, but then I wanna do some small spaces in here, like maybe some benches and stuff. I really wanna fill all this in, make it you know look a lot better. And so I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys on the other side.
Okay, so I finally finished it and I kind of went a little crazy on some of these areas. I decided to do little plazas in front of a lot of our skyscrapers. I really wanted to get some decals in there with some really cool planters and just some nice spaces. Um, one of the biggest things that I remember from downtowns is a lot of big buildings tend to have like sculptures or big planters and really big uh, grand entrance ways. But I really wanted to incorporate those green paths like what I had said. So I ended up doing gravel paths around the outside with some tree clusters, a little bit of flowers just to really create some nice spaces for people to kind of walk around, maybe grab some lunch. I did a lot of benches and pergolas as well. And then over here by the mall, I did end up changing our parking lot a little bit. I wanted to get something that was gonna look a little bit better rather than those two squares. Then I put planters all the way around it. I did some pergolas. Over here, I did another little plaza kind of entryway with a fence around the back just to kind of block them off from the Metro line. A couple little trees over here. I did end up putting in our tram line. So now we have tram access going through. Then over here, uh, kind of the same thing. So I did some more trees, kind of decorated up this plaza a little bit, just made it look a little bit better. There wasn't really a whole lot of space for me to do anything over here. It does look like we still need a space for some residential, I think, right there. And then the masterpiece of this is this whole area right here. I decided to do the hedges like I was saying. I did little squares. Then I did these decal bricks going all the way through, created some walking paths so people can actually walk through there. And then all along the backside did some flowers. I did a big rock back here. This would be really expensive for them to do, but I felt like it was just a really cool touch. And so overall, I think this is really good. Honestly, this is probably the best downtown that I've ever done. This is huge at this point. It's taken us uh, like three, four episodes and, and quite a long time to actually get this done. I'm glad that I took the time with it though. Um, a lot of the little details are just really fun. Like you can kind of see these little plazas in here. It just looks really good. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. We are going to be coming up on our airport build. I've been working on it for quite a few weeks now. It's going to be pretty much this whole area. It's going to be a huge international airport with a pretty large cargo terminal as well. But then we need to be doing, we need to do some more residential. I think we're going to build upon this hillside. I really want to do some more hillside residential. Just create like a, I don't know, something really fun over here and kind of help to boost our population a bit. But if you guys have any suggestions for the channel or anything like that, go ahead and let me know. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.